Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here and welcome back to WoW Classic and our Human Rogue's Joyous Journey. Back in the Lakeshire Town Hall today is where we're starting off. We're going to turn in our quest to Magistrate Solomon here. Honor, friend. Did the General send news? Are reinforcements on the way? Thank you for your time, Rogue, for your service to Lakeshire and Stormwind. I reward you with these coins. <laughs> what a weird way to say anything. I reward you with these coins. Oh, okay. Now, if you'll excuse me, I find this correspondence somewhat of a mystery. Something is amiss in our kingdom. I fear this is the beginning of conflict, not the end. And a messenger to Westfall. Something is odd, or something odd is afoot within the Stormwind army. They should have been here in force by now. Time is a luxury we don't have, however. I will not stand by and watch the people of Lakeshire give their lives without trying to enlist more help. I've heard word of a people's militia forming in Westfall. Take this plea to their leader, Gear and Stoutmantle. Perhaps Stoutmantle's men can lend support here until the king sends reserves. Be careful. Uh, I kind of want to do that to see what it chains into, but I think we should probably just go ahead and finish up assessing the threat. Although Messenger to Westfall is green, let's do this one now. I, I don't want to lose whatever this chains into necessarily. Hope you guys are doing well today, and I should say thank you for being here, for clicking on the video and choosing to spend some of your time here with me today. I truly do appreciate it. That was the wrong, that was the wrong flay point. <laughs> Robert needs to have a little bit more coffee. Is there anything we need to do in Stormwind? I don't think so. I think we're good. Yeah, we are surprisingly good. Nothing, not even any breadcrumbs left opened up for Stormwind, so we'll just jump a flight right over to Westwall. Have kind of a busy week coming up, uh, as I'm sure many people here in the States do. Depending on your beliefs and habits and proclivities, you may or may not have a very busy holiday week coming up. Uh, I do definitely have family in town. Lots of stuff going on, but I, I do plan to keep up the release st schedule pretty steadily. Planning to still be able to put out two or three videos a day. Yeah, I think for a lot of people the holidays is usually a time, you know, to spend with family and to relax, take time away. I'm, I'm the sort of person that when I when I take time away from the things that I love to do it, it causes anxiety and not relaxation. <laughs> I, I have a hard time with weekends. I have a hard time with sitting. Just sitting. Relaxing. Reading a book without multitasking. Watching a show without multitasking. I, I have trouble relaxing. And I have even more trouble taking time off from doing the things that I love to do every day. So for me, uh, the holidays are stressful in a couple of different ways. There's always that like added interaction of family. Everyone out in the world is also kind of crazy. If you, if you have to go to stores and stuff like that, people are a little bit wackadoo. Uh, we don't need to come here for anything. This is what happens when I talk. But yeah, that's what's going on with me. So just like a little bit of distraction and additional anxiety in, in daily life. As we enter this time when the typical schedules can't be maintained and... I do suffer from that when I, I can't maintain a, a steady orderly schedule, it does kind of get to me. Alright, on to the correct flight path and maybe we can get things moving here this morning.
But yeah, whatever your guys' plans are, or if it's just going to be another weekend for you, same as every other weekend, I hope you guys all have a good one. And, uh, like I said, I do plan to keep the videos coming out. We still have stuff in Westfall to do. I, I really don't know if I'm going to follow this chain to completion. Yeah, there's probably some nice gear from some of the dungeon quests, but... You know, I've been in the queue since before I started recording. And I think it's just a long time to get into any leveling dungeons. I really can't wait, and it's only a matter of time. How much time it will be, you know, probably it won't be until Ulduar comes out. But they will eventually put the automated looking for group tool into the game. And, oh man, is that going to be amazing when that happens. Uh, we have three inventory spaces. Before we so much as do anything else, let's fix that. Good day to you. I supply only Probably need a repair too. We, we have been tending to die quite often. So, we might as well equip this. Perfect. That's pretty cool. I might actually display that for a little bit. The black whelp scales, I feel like we need either for crafting or for a quest or for something, but I feel like we need them. So I I'm going to hang around. on to them. Okay, with that done, now we can finally turn in these quests. When will we press a button? Uh, I don't know when we'll press any of our action buttons. Greetings. Good messenger, you have served your master well. <laughs> Some of these lines are, are so strange and I wonder how I haven't noticed them. Good messenger, you have served your master well. A little bit of creep I'm sensing from gear in here. Magistrate Solomon's note pains me to read, but it is obvious he knows not the war which is waged in Westfall or else he would know better than to expect aid from the militia. If Stormwind had not deserted us as well, we would have we would not have the need for the militia. Take this response to your master in Red Ridge, Rogue, and let him know that my heart is heavy with the loss of good men. Light bless you. What can I do? In other words, he can't help. What did Wiley have to say for himself? I should have let that scoundrel rot when I had the chance, but this information is crucial. Good work. I wonder what Wiley meant when he mentioned the stonemasons. Perhaps that was a slip of the tongue. Could the Defias gang be related to the stonemasons? Only one man would know for sure. Matthias Shaw, head of SI7. Show him Wiley's note and see if he has anything to add to this growing mystery. If you have trouble finding Shaw, check the barracks in Old Town. Go with honor, we did this entire quest chain on, I want to say it was the mage. I want to say it was the human mage. It could have been the, the paladin, but I feel like it was the mage. And my point of saying that is, I, I'm not sure if we'll, we'll follow it all through again. Uh, it's going to depend on... It's going to depend on the leveling, like how fast we level, if we outlevel stuff or not. Yeah, we'll see. I'm not in a rush to like leave these zones, but eventually we may outlevel some of the questing. Although it hasn't happened yet, so... I kind of forget if we ever outleveled anything on our mage.
well met. Shall we expect the people's militia soon? Does Lord Stoutmantle's news bode well? Uh, not exactly, buddy. I do say, this is not good at all. I did not realize that Stoutmantle's situation was not unlike ours here in Lakeshire. What action is so important that it calls the Stormwind army away from its people? I should not ponder aloud. Here, messenger, accept these coins in exchange for your service to the township. I might call upon you again. Messenger to Darkshire. I require your assistance once again. I have written to Lord Ebonlock requesting that he send his trained guards, the Night Watch, to help with Lakeshire's defense. It is imperative that this message makes it to him swiftly. You must exercise extreme caution. Ebonlock is the mayor of Darkshire in the heart of Duskwood. Do not stray from the roads. Light bless you. Oh. It'd be cool if he gave us a little bit of the backstory of Duskwood there, like told us how it, it was what? It was the Brightwood, I believe, was the name of the area. Originally, before it became Duskwood, it was the Brightwood. It'd be cool if we learned some of that from him before heading there. Uh, let's see, what do we want to do now? I guess we need to head back to the south. And, you know, actually get started. Some of these. Uh, we have... What am I missing here? Oh, look at this. So he has another quest now. Is this for the whelps? Can I help you? No. No, this is a breadcrumb to for the Dwarven the lands. I forget where we get the quest to... There's an item we need from these whelps, and we did not get to the quest yet. And I'm wondering if it was maybe a chain from something that I didn't do. Hmm. I definitely sold our spider meat, didn't I? Yeah, I'm pretty sure... <laughs> pretty sure we were done with that one. Um, yeah, not, not great, but... Ultimately not, not too big of a setback. We should probably make some more bandages. Pretty soon we're going to be ready to learn wool, and the great thing is we already have almost two stacks of wool ready for when that happens. Let's check out our other professions here while that's going. Is there anything I can do with cooking? I can't do anything that's orange. We are still getting a lot of boar meat, obviously, but... I need coyote meat or Gortusk livers. Livers we know we can get in Westfall. I, I don't know if these boars are going to drop the livers or not. Suppose we'll find out soon enough. I should be doing ambush, not, uh, not backstab. While we have daggers equipped, eventually we're going to have swords. And then that's going to be not as useful. 
Uh, I don't know what popped me out of stealth there. That was a little weird. Okay, we are going to get Gore Tusk Livers. So that's pretty awesome. Let's just take this guy out. Some of these ones on the periphery are probably just going to cause us problems if we leave them alive. You guys have been very gently reminding me about sap. And I will, I will try to use sap at some point. I don't think it's going to help us in groups like this. <laughs> which have like five people. But yeah, for some of the groups that have like two or three, I will, I will keep sap in mind going forward. Thank you guys. Like, we could probably get in here and sap one of these guys. The only problem is like before we have distract, But yeah, that, that worked really well, obviously. Now, does sapping them keep us in combat? That's my question. Let's pop evasion here. And how long is he going to stay sapped? Is he going to stay sapped long enough for us to deal with this guy and then get a quick bandage in? It looks like he, he will. Okay, that's, uh, yeah, that's obviously really powerful. We are stuck in combat with him, though, until he's defeated. We could probably run, though, if we were really, really low on health and didn't have a way to heal up right then. We could probably just leave him there. But yeah, obviously Sap, super powerful. Thank you guys for getting on my case a little bit about it. I do appreciate that. And I appreciate that you, like, kept the comments relatively chill. <laughs> I, I'm a noob rogue. I, I have never spent lots of time on the rogue class. Or on any class that has used stealth, so... Any kind of stealth tactics. Uh, I want this boar, but I don't know if I want it enough to fight these thrashers. Although there are a lot of thrashers up compared to everything else. I wonder if I should just kill some of them. At least if we fight them, it, it opens up the boar, and when they respawn, they could respawn as ones we actually need. Uh, that being said, I, I guess we only need two poachers right now, so... I do like seeing big 256 crits from, uh, from Ambush, though. That was a lot of fun just now, have to admit. It's nice to see the enemy's entire health bar vanish after a single hit. Oh, look at that. See, we killed those two. We talked about getting poacher respawns, and look what happened. Inventory is full. 
Guys, I was kind of debating this with myself for a little while with this playthrough, but I I'm going to send myself some bags from, from our human mage after today. I'm going I'm to send myself some bags. Yeah. I, I feel like that's going to probably just make the playthrough more enjoyable for everybody. All right, let's let's get out of this little area here, and yeah, let's move back this way. We could come over into this area here. We we do have another quest objective over there at the mill. So I think I might head that way. I think we might come back north through the town and head over here into the mill area. Up to the north of town are the rivets also, so we could kind of work on them at a similar time. And we do have to empty our inventory. We could go ahead and turn this quest in. That would be a good idea. What can I do for you? There's a sizable force of gnolls encamped there, and from what you tell me, they are tough ones. It must not have been easy for you to gather this intelligence. If you haven't already done so, speak with Marshal Maris and Magistrate Solomon. Oh, we did that, man. We've already, uh, we have already done quests for them. Eventually I'll stop checking him. <laughs> It'll happen someday. Looking for something specific? Okay, so I do need to be careful with what I'm selling here. We can get rid of the, the sword. 
I'm gonna hold on to the oil, even though... Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to the oil. Uh, the black whelp scales I'm gonna sell for now. If we do need them for a quest, we'll collect some more. I'm gonna cook the boar meat. Thick spider hair we need. Or no, we don't need the spider hair, we need the crisp spider meat. Venom sack we don't need, ichor we don't need. And boar intestines we don't need. Yeah, and that's really all I can do. Which is why we keep running out of inventory space. Safe travels. These are gray now, so let's not let's not bother cooking those. Let's just start selling that. Hello. We'll start selling the chunks of boar meat. Okay, let's do this. Let's go ahead and let's see if we can get some bags. I don't have a lot of gold, but I think I have enough gold to get some bags. Because I think uh, this is a good time to do it. Let's just, let's do it now. Hope you guys don't mind. It's a little bit irregular for me. Uh, let's see, auction house is this way. Uh, we have 277 gold and th then an inventory that needs to be purged that would probably get us like two or three hundred more gold. Um, okay, I've clearly mistyped. Let's just go down to containers. Bags. Could do frost weave bags, that'd be a little pricey. Moon cloth bags. Let's do some moon cloth bags. That's within our price range. Uh, now the real question. Alright. The disadvantage of using the little characters is that it's really easy to forget which little character that you used. There we go. That, that will be a lot better for us, obviously. I buy and trade. Be careful. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I'll do dead mines. Yeah, I, I want to get some more gear. I think we have the weapons that we can get out of there. We can we can use swords now, so. So that's good. Uh let's see. What do we want to do now? We're heading over well, we're gonna get a summon probably pretty soon, but we could probably head over this way. Let's take a look at where everyone's at. Just make sure that we're not one of the closest people. Uh we have Somebody here in Sentinel Hill. 
And then we have... Thought I saw somebody in Storm... Oh yeah, we have somebody in Stormwind. So we do have a couple of people closer than us. That being said, we do have a turn-in in Stormwind, so we could kind of head towards the stone in the sense that let's go to Stormwind and let's go ahead and try to get our breadcrumb turned in. And if we can do that, then we'll head over into Westfall. I feel like getting that, uh, the turn-in in would be a good idea to do that now. It's going to get us closer to level 20, but I don't think it's going to get us level 20. Well met. So... It would have been nice to hit level 20 before we, uh... It would be nice to have hit level 20 before we do this run. Because I feel like at level 20 we probably get something pretty significant. We get access to poisons, but I'm sure we're going to have to do some kind of poison quest to open that up. But yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to keep it part of this episode since I feel like we haven't really done a lot in this episode. I'll keep it part of this episode. It'll probably end up being a longer episode. Depending on how fast we get through this run. Who's the healer? That's a good question because we do need one of those. At least someone to throw an occasional healing spell. She's in balance though, so what? So what? Yeah, I mean at this level, you can definitely heal and tank all of the leveling dungeons without being that spec. Have you seen the Druid Town Tree? No, I, I I haven't. But yeah, it doesn't really matter. I, I haven't seen the Talent Tree. And it doesn't matter. At this level, you just need someone to throw a couple heals. Since this person has not moved yet, we uh, we might be the one running over to get people summoned in. But I am going to go turn this in before that. We did the same thing. We, we, we tanked on our, on our paladin as Rhett all the way to, uh, I think, was it Outland that we... No, I think it. I don't think we did any prots taking until we had dual spec in Northrend. So, yeah. Let's make sure we didn't Hello. forget level eighteen. We didn't. See you later. This matter might be more complex than Stoutmantle realizes. The Stonemasons Guild was run by a na man named Edwin Van Cleef. Van Cleef was responsible for rebuilding Stormwind after the orcs raised it in the First War. Apparently Van Cleef and his men were unhappy with their treatment by the king after the reconstruction was complete. That just might explain a thing or two. I have written mo a more detailed account for your master in Westwall. Take this to him at lions. once.
One thing I am going to do really quick is I'm going to set my hearthstone here in Stormwind. That way after this run we can just hearth back here. Uh, because we'll be ready to train after the run. And I'll want to get that done ASAP before I do anything else. You need something? Go with honor, friend. There we go. Hearthstone is set the storm wind. We can take the summon and we can get going. Alright, let's see if we can keep all five members of the group, and if we can just have a nice, smooth run. So far, everything's been good.
Van Cleef pay big for your heads. I'm pretty sure that's the only item he can drop. Maybe something one of you guys can tell me. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter so much. As a, as a combat rogue, I'm gonna want to have a sword in each hand, right? I guess I kinda need to know that. And uh, if that's not the case, does the speed of the item matter? And what speed goes in which hand? The in I get so the is it the bigger number or the smaller number? Because when people say slow and fast, sometimes I think I misinterpret what they mean by the number. So do I want like a 1.5 speed in my main hand, or do I want like a 2.5 speed in my main hand? That's kind of my question. We did hit level 20 which is great. We can go into repost, which is not going to help us here at all. But it, it will help us while we're while we're questing. So, we're going to go into repost. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and take that. Oh, we did not win it. Somebody else also needed it. <laughs> so, guess we are not even gonna win greens today. We'll see if anything else drops for us. Yeah, I feel like we've seen all the gear that drops out of here. Maybe there is no leather that drops as far as blue items.
I feel like we have the boss in here. So there's that. I talked about there not being any leather, but there is some leather. We're probably not going to win it because we have a druid in here, but what are you going to do? Lots of shadow gems dropping. Did we never see loot resolve for the blue item? No, we did. We just didn't we just didn't win it again. <laughs> do I want to do a Black Fathom Deeps run with a druid in the group? Uh I'm starting to question whether I, I want to do that run after this. <laughs> I feel like it's just a way for us not to get any items, essentially. So far we've lost out on a chest upgrade and a legs upgrade, so I'm not feeling too good about this. Can I, can I take these? Can I win anything? <laughs> I don't even know if that's an upgrade. Check out that noise! We're under attack! Avast, you swabs! Repel the invaders!
band lovers are tougher than I thought. I'll have to improvise. Ugh. Now you're making me angry. He's been dropping his wand a lot recently and not his mace. I'm really hoping we get access to like at least some kind of cleave, some kind of minor AoE soon because you, you kind of feel useless in a dungeon situation. You feel if the class feels really good solo. And then you get into a group, and uh, you don't feel great. I guess we got lucky enough to be frozen within melee range with somebody at least. Could have been worse.
not the time to panic. Oh, we did get green skin. And the polar arm again. Amazing. Hey, we'll just keep rolling on stuff. Eventually we'll win something. Maybe. An un yeah, I have an unsent letter. Which I need to actually, you know, open. Oh, we actually got the cape. That's awesome. Alright, so let's go ahead and hearth it back to Stormwind. And I'm going to get us trained, and then we're going to be heading over to BFD. I will do the run. I'm, I'm kind of at a point where I realize we're probably not going to get a lot of loot out of it. But we'll get some experience out of it, and I might have a chance to get some flight points over in Kalimdor. Which could be nice. But yeah, I'm going to take a quick break here. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I truly do appreciate it. Hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough as much as I am. Let me know what you do think. I would love to hear from you. And until next time, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we'll see you back here again very soon. Bye for now.